Hi there. Here's a brief walkthrough of your CodeGuard account. Here's the dashboard. And it's giving you a summary. Here's one total website, 100% backed up. Three total databases. So here's your site. You can come down here and take an action. View issues, restore or delete. Or you can click on the link. And it gives you a nice little linear timeline. So July 14th through July 17th. In this color, it tells you how many files were changed. So four files were changed on July 14th. It looks like on July 16th, there were 14 files added. And so if you wanted to run the backup now, you'd click Run Backup Now, although it's set to run in 10 hours from now. Um, let's, let's take a look at July... 16th. We'll click the details. Now we can browse the backup content or here's the restore options. And if you notice right here, CodeGuard is asking for your help. When a file addition, modification, or deletion is detected, you can tell us whether this was an expected change or the change was suspicious. This feedback is added to our malware engine for deeper analysis. Your participation may help discover new infections, vulnerabilities, and zero-day attacks that impact your websites, as well as others. So you could go through here and, you know, this looks like something legitimate. You, you go ahead and click the check mark on the ones that look legitimate, and that helps the algorithm of code guard but that's completely an optional thing if you click restore it's going to give you these options automatic restore the, now code guard advertises a one click restore and that's where you do it. Alternatively, here is the master backup. You can download your entire site. Now, this would be good if you are migrating to a different host or server. From what I can tell, this automatic restore will only restore back to your existing host. So it's important to become familiar with your CodeGuard dashboard. 